If you have a low-end PC or a low-end laptop and you struggle with FPS while playing Fortnite, GeForce Now could be the perfect solution for you. It's a cloud-based gaming service made by Nvidia that basically allows you to run most PC games on a virtual high-end PC instead of running the game on your local hardware. This is all done via remote servers where the video and audio outputs are streamed to your device in real time. And it doesn't matter which device you're on, may that be a PC, a laptop, smartphone or even a tablet, the service overall will essentially save you from hardware upgrades, it'll allow you to have smooth gameplay and it'll also reduce the download slash storage the game takes on your PC. All it mainly requires is a stable internet connection as that's pretty much essential for optimal performance, but I'll show you guys in a little bit how to optimise your internet. But to get the service, there's currently three different membership tiers, there's the free one which we'll be using today, that gives you the basic rig and a one hour session, there's pro Priority, which grants you a RTX rig, 60 FPS and a 6 hour session. And finally there's Ultimate which grants you a high end RTX rig, 120 FPS and a 8 hour session. Unfortunately there seems to be no trial for the Priority and Ultimate so it's really hard to test them out beforehand. So with that being the case we are going to use the free one today and I think that's what most people will use or want to try out firstly. To get it just head over to Google and type in GeForce Now and press search. Then the first link should be nvidia.com geforce now click on that and here's the main website just click on the top right where it says join now and as you can see these are the free memberships we're going to go on the free one we're going to click join you then need to go ahead and make an account after you've signed up head over to the download now tab and you can see you can download it on literally anything windows pc mac mobile even smart tvs we're going to go ahead and download the windows pc one after you've downloaded the app which i do recommend over the browser as it's way more stable and just better overall you want to head over to the top left on the menu then click on settings and straight away under the connections tab right here on the right hand side you want to make sure that you link your Epic Games account as that's what makes Fortnite even playable. You can see that I've got ahead and already added mine. From there we can now scroll down and optimise GeForce Now for the best and most optimal settings. Starting off with the server location. For this you can go ahead and manually select uh, the closest network to you or server location to you. But what I recommend doing is keeping it on auto then clicking this test network button which will actually test the network for you and give you the best server location. You can see it goes from your computer to the Ethernet to the ISP and it's same for me, EU West looks to be the best one, which is great. If we press OK, um, it should automatically connect us to that, but I myself am going to select it manually. It gives you a little warning here saying you should keep it on auto, but EU West is the best for me. From that, you can go ahead and scroll down a little bit more and we've got streaming quality. Now, I don't recommend using balanced. That's the default one. I recommend going on to custom. And even though you might be thinking, oh, why not competitive? Don't do it. Just go on custom because we're going to customize it right now. Uh, for the max bit rate, I recommend putting that on custom and I myself really like 50, I think that works best um, and is, is the most optimal one. But if you are using a higher tier like priority or ultimate, you may want to have it on auto, but for free I think this one's best at 50 megabytes. Same with the resolution as well for all of them, doesn't matter what package you've got, make sure this is on 1920 by 1080 As for the frame rate, if you're on free, use 60 FPS, but if you are on priority or ultimate, either use 120 FPS or 240 FPS. And scrolling down these options right here, reflex is great, but we can't unfortunately use that as we're on the free package. A HDR, I'd keep that off. And I would also keep this setting enabled too, that's adjust for poor network connections. Scrolling down, we've got a few more settings. We've got resolution upscaling. Now this setting basically works by applying sharpening effects that reduce the visible blurriness while you are streaming. Um, the game to the virtual machine basically and um, but it can cause um, performance issues so I myself I don't like to use it on either enhanced or AI enhanced I like to keep it on standard and that's what I recommend you do. As for the in-game settings, this doesn't matter as we'll be customising our in-game settings ourselves later on. And then at the bottom here, you can keep this Discord one selected too. If you do, use Discord. And that right there is the best GeForce Now settings. What we're now going to do is go back over to the menu. We're going to click on games. And before you go ahead and launch the game up, I want to show you guys the best network settings to improve your network and overall the gameplay while using GeForce Now. The first thing I want you guys to do is update your network drivers to improve overall performance of your network connection. You can do this by simply finding your device manager, then go under network adapters, 
then you want to find your Ethernet connection. Um, I recommend looking for your brand. You can see here mine is Intel. You then want to open up your internet browser. You want to search for brand of the Ethernet driver and the operating system. And you want to click on the latest version as you can see right here. Make sure to find the suitable one for your operating system and processor. And then once you have downloaded it, you want to click on it. Then you want to extract it and then open it up. And you should have updated your network drivers just as simple as that. Moving on from that, we're going to optimize our Ethernet settings now by going back into the device manager then under the network adapter settings again you want to find your recently updated ethernet connection you then want to right click on it and click properties then click on the power management tab and inside this section you want to check allow this device to wake up the computer and as well as that be sure to uncheck allow the computer to turn off this device then head over to advanced and click on enable pme set this to disabled on the drop down menu under the energy efficient ethernet tab you want to set that value to off and finally scroll down to the very bottom and set the wake on link sentence to disabled same with the one below that and then the one below that one as well next up we're going to change our dns server which epic games themselves actually recommend for better connectivity and performance to do this you want to go onto your start menu you want to type in view network connections and select this option then you want to right click on Ethernet and choose properties then in here you want to locate the IPv4 option make sure it's a ticket if it's not already checked after that you want to open its properties and then inside here this is where you can change your DNS now in general there's two popular ones one is Cloudflare and then the other is Google the Cloudflare here is the address on screen and then for Google, here's that address on screen. But what I recommend doing is finding the best DNS server for you by checking out this free and safe application called DNS Benchmark. When you run it, it'll basically determine the exact performance of your local and remote DNS servers. Basically, when you run it, it'll actually determine the exact performance of local and remote DNS servers, which results in a pretty clear indication of which one is best for you. And it turns out for me that the Google DNS one is the best, and it's very popular for that reason. Now that we've got all the best and most optimal internet settings, we're going to go ahead and launch the game and customise the in-game settings. Once the game has loaded up, we're going to go ahead and optimise the video settings tab. You want to make sure it's on full screen, 1920 by 1080 vSync is off. You want to make sure that the frame rate limit matches whatever you've got set up on GeForce Now. For most, it'll be 60 on the free option, but if you can, 120 FPS or... 240 fps should be great so the rendering mode this is really important you want to put this on performance lower graphical fidelity for more fps brightness this is personal preference colorblind this is personal preference motion blur you want that turned off and then for all of these graphics quality settings right here you want to set them all to low you want to set the anti-aliasing to off you also want the 3d resolution on 100 percent you can lower it a bit if you want more fps but i recommend 100 percent for best visibility and then down here guys just make sure all of these are on low near or off and as for the advanced graphics you can put the show fps on or off it's personal preference before the nvidia reflex low latency if you are currently using the free tier make sure where this is off but you can experiment with having it on or an on plus boost if you're using a higher tier like, like priority or ultimate before free you want that off and that right there is the best in-game settings for geforce now overall though that's the best settings you need to use for geforce now it's something that you should try out if you haven't already and um, like i said it's free obviously there's paid options but i think it's a really good idea for those out there that don't have the highest budget say if you've got a low-end laptop or a low-end pc this could definitely be worth it for for you in the long run as you don't need to buy super expensive equipment but first i do highly recommend checking out the free version as it might not be the best in terms of gameplay but it's something you've got to try out for yourselves if you've got a great internet connection it might not be that bad for you just give it a try but that's all i got for today be sure to drop a like if it helped out also be sure to drop a sub and if you want to support me directly feel free to use my code in the item shop that helped me out a turn feel free to check out any of my other videos that are on screen right now as well